What's going on guys? Welcome back to Psalms Law Book. Today we are going to be opening up Battles of Legends Armageddon and I have been waiting for this set since it was announced. I, I am so excited to open this. The Numerons, the Fossils, the Chaos Emperor Dragon, even, even the uh, 10,000 Dragon is pretty cool. It, it makes the set retain value. Uh, the Utopia, everything's pretty cool in here. And we're not only opening one, but we are opening two. So yes. I have some more Battles of Legends Armageddon coming. Hopefully we can open up more of these uh, boxes in the future. But I am so excited to open this up today. Uh, also, we are in the process of moving. So once we are done with that, we will be opening and doing more videos. I know it's been a little stale. Uh, but yeah, once we're done with the moving, we will be opening and doing more videos. I also got some sleeves here today because normally I don't have the sleeves with me. So, yes, Battles of Legends, Armageddon. Let's get into it. So, what do I think of Battles of Legends, Armageddon? Well, I think the set is absolute fire. I think it's gonna be, it's, it's really good. It's definitely one of those sets that I think people should pick up. It's like Toon Chaos, where it has some really good, you know, staple cards and also some cool cool cards to collect so it hits every mark collectors uh you know competitive like Simo would say com collectors competitive and casual and this set hits every one of those marks and i think that you should definitely be picking up this set it's really good and there's some really good cards to collect in here if you're a collector like me i like to collect and i like to play but i'm more of a collector so <clears throat> let's get right into this opening I'm going to set this over here. We've got two packs right in front of us. So the last video I did, well, the last video was a deck profile, but the last opening video I did an opening of Secret Slayers, and we pulled the Eldritch. So maybe we get one of the uh, awesome cards. So the first, first of all, the Secret Rare is in the front. So if you don't want to see your Secret Rare, always move it to the back. It's kind of like, it's like a Pokemon thing now. All right, so... We got number three, Cicada King. This kind of looks weird. Okay. Black Whirlwind. Invoked Purgatrio. Nice looking card. Penguin Torpedo. And Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon. One Cyber Dragon plus one monster from the Extra Monster Zone. This card is awesome, and I'm glad to see this. Chimera Tech Mega Fleet. So we're going to put this guy right here. It's an awesome pull. Let's get into the next one. <clears throat> so, you know, let me know in the comments below, like, what you guys thought of the Battles of Legends. Did you get anything good out of your packs? Like, I want to, I definitely want to know. All right. So, we got Necros of Gungnir. Super all in. Number two, Namir on Gate. And Appliancer Test and Fossil Warrior Skullbone. I'm pretty sure this is one of the nicer Fossil Warriors. I'm not, I'm not really, or the Fossil cards, I'm not particularly uh, well in, I don't really know the Fossil cards that well, but I think this is one of the nicer ones, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we will probably make a Fossil deck uh, profile in the future, uh, so hopefully you guys stay tuned for that one. All right. This is cool to see these guys get reprinted a little, you know, with the Obedience Gold in here. Invoked Elysium. Fire Flint Lady. Really, really cool card for Infer Noble Knights. Appliancer. And Glacial Beast Blizzard Wolf. I think this is new. When a monster declares an attack, you can negate the attack, and if you do special summon one level 4 lower water monster from your hand, except Glacial Beast Blizzard Wolf. At the start of your opponent's turn, battle phase, if this card's in your graveyard and you control no monster, special summon this guy in attack position. Wow, this is an awesome card. This is really good. Wow. Okay. Aqua getting some really nice support out of, their, out of this set. Uh, that's, that's a nice card. Alright, on to the next one. Oh, forgot to put it to the back. Anyways, we got Glacial Beast 
Iceberg Narwhal. I like that name. Iceberg Narwhal. Psychic Wave. Invoked Right. I love seeing these guys get reprinted. Uh, Raijin, Flower Cardian, and Afterglow. So. And yes, you get a Secret Rare every pack. The only thing is, is that you get five cards per pack, but they're all pretty high quality cards uh, in Battles of Legends. So I really love Battles of Legends. Uh, I think it's a great set. Uh, definitely one of my favorite sets out of the year. So definitely pick it up. If, you, if you've never opened up a Battles of Legends, really, you know, crack into the set. You know, Konami has been putting out some pretty good product lately, and I think this is definitely one of them. So let's let's see what we got going on here. Assault Black Wing, so High of the Rainstorm. Malefic Paradigm Dragon. Boost Warrior. A Numeron Gate. And Dark Arm, the Dragon of Annihilation. Hoo hoo. Pretty sure this guy was a promo or an OCG card. I may be wrong, but it's awesome to see him get printed. He looks awesome. Awesome, dude. Everybody loves Dark Arm Dragon. Well, I love Dark Arm Dragon because that's when I used to really play competitively. It was when the Dark Arm Dragon era was a, a thing. And they had, like, it's during, during Synchro, early Synchro, Glad Beast, you know, stuff like that. All right. Number one, Numeron Gate, Ecom. Salamander Great Gazelle, good reprint. Galaxy Worm. Invoked Kaliga. And Fossil Dragon Scully Ghost. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right. Let's move this one to the back. All right. On to the next. Here we go. Elemental Hero Neos Alias. Intruder Alarm Yellow Alert. New Mirror on Wall. Book of Moon and Dark Spell Regeneration. Let's see what we got here. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, target one spell in your opponent's graveyard, set it to your field. You can banish this card from your graveyard and send one monster reborn from your hand or set on the field to the graveyard. Special summon one winged dragon of a raw from your graveyard, ignoring summoning conditions. Wow, then you can send one monster your opponent controls to the graveyard. Also, send that special summon monster to the graveyard during the end phase. This is a really cool card. I like this. I really like this. Uh, Wing Dragon Raw getting some nice support in here. Um, I'm pretty sure Wing Dragon Raw has some new support coming up uh, in one of the new sets, so it's going to be cool to see Wing Dragon Raw, you know, make his come out and shine for once so let's see what we got here Goya Defender cool card I like this one Artifact Sanctum awesome reprint in here definitely one of the reasons you should pick this up is for these Artifact Sanctums Mecha Phantom Beast O-Lion oh man this pack is looking good this is also an awesome reprint I'm glad this was reprinted in here Junk Anchor and Elemental Hero Escuriado must be fusion summon, and he gains 100 attack for each elemental hero in the graveyard. So he's pretty cool. You can, uh, pretty sure you can mash change him into a Dark Law or whatever. He probably has some sort of OTK strat around him. He's definitely not a bad card. He can definitely hit your opponent pretty hard. If you have a lot, elemental heroes know how to dump, uh, cards to the graveyard. So, oh, forgot to put it to the back, but. This is one of the cooler cards. This is one of the Numeron Gates. Uh, if you're playing pure Numeron, this card is pretty insane for pure. All right. Chaos Neos reprint. That's a cool one. Appliance or Socket Roll. Secure Gardener and Raw's Disciple reprint. This is an awesome reprint. I'm really happy for the Raw's Disciple reprint. Uh, definitely a cool reprint. I'm actually going to uh, sleeve this new Miron guy. He is. I'm. I know for a fact that this guy is quite expensive right now. He's like 15 bucks. Expensive to me is anything over 10 bucks. So 
Anyways, and one to the back. Necroz of Gungnir. Assault Blackwing so high of the rainstorm. Appliancer. Fire Flint Lady and another Elemental Hero Escariado. So I'm assuming he is not short printed in here. Oh, that's a thing. Invocation actually got short printed in this set, which is kind of a letdown uh, to me. I really wish they wouldn't have short printed Invocation. Uh, I feel like it should not have been short printed, but you know they've got to sell these sets somehow uh, or make you buy them. So. Anyways, Steam Synchro, Invoked Elysium, Appliance Air Breaker Buckle. Ooh, another reprint that I like to see. The Cross Sheep reprint is amazing. This looks awesome in this. Originally, this was a rare. Now it's got its uh, rarity bump. Smart Move Konami. I really like this. Cool, cool reprint. I'm actually going to put that off to the side. And then we got Armored White Bear. This guy, I think he might be new. He is actually pretty good. Uh, I was reading him earlier and when I saw someone open it, and I think this card has potential. If it's normal summon or special summon, while synchro monsters on the field, you can target one field spell in your graveyard, add it to your hand. And then if it's destroyed by battle uh, and sent to the graveyard by card effect, or by a card or by battle, um, you can special summon one level four lower beast monster from your deck or graveyard, except him. Pretty cool card. Like that. On to the next one. Oh, he's a secret. You gotta go over here, buddy. Oh, high rate draw. This is the secret rare. Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. Those look nice. Valor Fun. Flower Guardian and Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wingman. Man, I would I would love to have an ultimate rare of this guy, first edition. It'd be so cool. I, I actually collect ultimate rares, so uh it would be it'd be pretty awesome to have an ultimate rare shining flare wingman. Um one of my friends actually recently gave me a ultimate rare Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend he pulled, which was awesome. It was really cool of him to do that. Uh, you know, in our friend group, we just, you know, we're not stingy with what we pull. We definitely uh, give each other cards when, when others are more fond of certain things. So number three, Cicada King. Goyo Defender. Number two, Numeron Gate. And Blackwing, Chris the Crack of Dawn. Just like me, Chris. And uh, my crack is always showing at dawn, so yes. <laughs> Fossil Dragon Skullgar. I like this guy. He looks awesome. He doesn't even look like a fossil, dude. Huh. Anyways, he looks cool. We got some more packs in here. We got a lot of packs to go through, guys. So sit back, relax. Grab yourself a beverage. <laughs> you know that song. Anyways. On to the next one. We haven't pulled an invocation yet. Appliance or Electrical World? Cool. Elemental Hero Chaos Neos. Invoked Purgatrio. Appliance or Dryer Drake. And Fossil Warrior Skull King. Oh, I know this guy is a... I'm pretty sure this is one of the good ones. The one of the ones that is... Uh, the more pricey. So we'll, we'll sleeve him up. Uh, I think it was Skull King, if I'm not mistaken, but could be wrong. Oh, to the back. All right, camera focus. Number three, Namiran Gate. Malefic Paradigm Dragon. Shining Flare Wingman. Invoked Kaliga and Time Stream. I like that artwork. Shows him when he was uh, living and then when he turned into a fossil. It's pretty cool. So yeah, we'll probably do an Appliancer deck profile too. Uh, Appliancers look really fun to play, honestly. Like, I love archetypes that are fun to play. <laughs> Speaking of Appliancer, Laundry Dragon. Appliancer Kappa Scale. Salaman Great Sunlight Wolf. Good reprint in this set. I'm kind of glad that this guy reprinted. Uh, 
Kalantosa, the mythical beast of the forest, and number F0, Utopic Future Slash. Let's see what we got here. He's always can treat it as one. His rank is always treated as one. Wow. Once per turn, detach one material from this card. He can make a second attack during each battle phase. That's really cool. Cool card right there. Utopic Future Slash. Uh, definitely good looking artwork. I love the Utopias. I think they look really cool. Uh, my friend loves Utopia, loves Yuma. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist. Numir on Gate Ekrum. Numir on Wall. This is a good card. Goyo Guardian. My boy. He was definitely one of the banes of my existence back in the day. Ooh. Number C92, Heart Earth Chaos Dragon. Cannot be destroyed by battle when an opponent's monster you control. When a monster you control inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you gain life points equal to the damage they took. If this card has a number 92 Heart Earth Dragon as an Exes material, it gains this effect. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card and negate the effects of all face up monsters your opponent currently controls. Till the end of this turn, this activation and effect cannot be negated. Pretty cool card. <laughs> Utopia is getting some love in this. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We need to start cracking a little faster. All right. Let's get the one to the back. Obedience School, Appliance or Copy Buckle, Book of Moon, and Topologic Zero Boros, and Numeron Calling. Not the Numeron Network, but Numeron Calling, definitely still one of the good cards uh, for the Numeron archetype. Oh, Armored White Bear, <laughs> Numeron Gate, Dragon Buster, Kokimi Era Drago, I'm kind of glad this got a reprint too, and Appliancer, Vacu, Vacu Elephant, pretty cool card, like that, like that. So yeah, guys, let me know what you guys thought about this set. It's definitely awesome. I I love it. I, I definitely love sets like this uh, where, like, you just get value. I mean, this is just value. Appliance or reuse. Four mid skipper. Appliance or test. And another dark spell or generation. Wing Dragon <laughs> Raw is looking more playable every time I open a pack. All right, guys. So we're on to the last four packs from the first box. Can we hit a Trishula Dragon of Icy Imprisonment? Can we hit a Chaos Emperor Dragon? Let's find out. Or maybe one of those uh, Starlight, Starlight Rares. Four Mud Skipper, Appliance or Electrical World, Secure Gardener, and High Rate Draw. Alrighty. On to the next one. Alrighty. That one was a little rough to open to Mirror on Network. Oh boy, that's a good one. I should have put that to the back. That's a little disappointing that we didn't get to see that. But yes, Numira Network is definitely one of the cards you want to see out of here. Uh so we got the Numira Network. That's awesome. Obedience schooled, appliancer, junk anchor, and topologic zero boros. Nothing we haven't seen yet. The only thing I think we haven't seen is the invocation. That's kind of a, it's kind of cringe, Konami, but hey, maybe we'll see it in the next box. All right, one to the back. Blackwing, Whirlwind, Appliance or Reuse, Goyo Guardian, Penguins, Trishula, Dragon of Icy Imprisonment. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I was hoping to get this card. Man, this card is going to be awesome to use. Super sick. If you don't know what this card does, definitely go give it a look-see. Really cool card. Man, nice. So we got the Trishula Dragon of Icy Imprisonment. Last pack from the main box, the first box. Can we do it? Can we hit one of those big cards? 
Intruder alarm alert. I don't think we hit this one yet. Pretty cool looking card. Elemental hero Neo's alias. Galaxy worm. A planter. And weathering soldier. We haven't hit this one yet either. This is destroyed by battle or sent to the graveyard. By card effect, you can add one fossil fusion specifically list. Or card. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. So Weathering Soldier helps you search out those fossil cards. Let's get into the next box of Battles of Legends. So yes, uh, we have Heroes and Fantasies here. That's actually our hobby store or our card store. Hobby store. Used to call it a hobby store back when, when I played when I was a younger kid. Anybody remember those Hobby League cards? I remember the first Hobby League card I ever got was uh, Neospatian Grand Mole. Man, I use that card so much. I love Neospatian Grand Mole. Ah, it'd be awesome if the Neospatians came back and were actually good. Like, for once. Alright, so, last box of Battles of Legends. Here we go. Can we hit something really nice? I've already gotten some really nice cards, but I would love to hit one of those starlights or something like that to add to my collection. Invoked Elysium, Goyo Defender, Galaxy Worm, Invoked Kaliga, and Fossil Warrior Skullbone. Nice. Alright, on to the next one. But anyways, about those Neo Spatians. Uh, been cool if... Uh, they bring them back. I'd love to see them. Another Artifact Sanctum. That's what I want to see. Elemental Hero Chaos Neos. Let me get that lighting a little bit better. Numeron Wall. Book of Moon. And Numeron Calling. Got another one. I think you only need one of those, but... I might be wrong. I know Network is insane. Uh, even in the anime, my friend was telling me that Numeron Network, the guy could like literally make it whatever he wanted it, the card effect to be. That's... Nutty. Um, appliance or socket roll. Psychic wave. What? There's Jinzo support in here? <laughs> okay. Secure gardener. Appliance or vacuum elephant. And skull king. Again, nice. So we pulled another skull king. I'm just going to sleeve this guy. It's either between skull king or the other guy that's expensive. I'm not really sure. But I'm, I'm, sh I'm, okay. I'm sure it's skull king. If I'm wrong, you know, correct me in the comments below. Let me know. Be like, hey, Chris, you dumb idiot. Skull King is worth $2. And I will gladly unsleeve my Skull King. Just kidding. I'll keep him sleeved. He will go into my fossil deck. Enough rambling. Back to the opening. Invoked Raijin. Assault Blackwing, so high of the rainstorm. Junk Anchor. Topologic Zaraboros. Oh man, guys, we pulled a Chaos Emperor Dragon of Armageddon. This is a huge pull. This is a $60 card actually right now. Maybe 50 in the 50s range, but to get this card reprinted from being a promo, or was it a promo, or was it a, uh, it was a tournament only card that you could get. This is amazing. This was an awesome, awesome pull. Man, look at him. He looks awesome. This was one of the cards that I was hoping to pull from this box, and we got him. <laughs> nice. So we pulled that Chaos Emperor Dragon. Man. This was a great opening. Ah, oh, man. I'm so glad I did this one. All right. On to the next. <sighs> Malefic Paradigm Dragon. Dude. Guys, this card, Malefic Paradigm Dragon, awesome, awesome card. If you want to play Malefics, you definitely are going to want this card. He's really good. Number one, Numeron Gate. Goyo Guardian. Penguin Torpedo. And another Dark Spell Regeneration. Yeah, so Malefic Paradigm Dragon. Pretty, pretty cool card. Uh, I'm actually thinking about doing a Malefic Dark Profile. Uh, they've been getting a lot of support lately. And, you know, they could definitely be a pretty fun deck to just play with your friends and you know you pretend you're like the main bad guy of Yu-Gi-Oh and kick your friends butts <laughs> so anyway Salaman Great Gazelle <laughs> Elemental Hero Neos Alias Koki Mira Drago 
Ra's Disciple, and Glacial Beast Polar Penguin. Oh gosh. This card is special summon. Target one monster your opponent controls and return it to the hand. Wow. Is destroyed by battle or card effect? You could target one card your opponent controls and return it to the hand. Alright, so this little little bad boy, he he doesn't want anything on the field. He just wants to return it to the hand. Anyways, Chaos Emperor Dragon of Armageddon. I'm so glad we got that. That was awesome. Do we get a 10,000 dragon? Let's find out. Anyways, Intruder Alarm Yell Alert, Four Mud Skipper, Appliance or Dryer Drake, Mythical Beast the Forest, ooh, the new Judgment Dragon uh, for Light Swarms. Pretty cool card. Except I think he banishes cards. Yes, he does. Still a pretty pretty cool card to uh, pull. Definitely think this card will be used at some point for something. So, yeah, I like it. I like it. I like the artwork. I like what he looks. Yeah, everything about him is pretty cool. So, so far we've pulled almost every dragon guy out of here. We got another fossil dragon, Scolios. Appliance or Electrical World, Obedience Schooled, Salaman Great Sunlight Wolf, and Utopia the Lightning. You know what I wish they would have reprinted in here? Instead of some of those Utopia guys? Utopia Double. I wish they would have reprinted Utopia Double in here. I know he's a $4 card, uh, but I would like to give, you know, people who like don't really buy a product off of online, you know, more of a chance to just pull him instead of buying dual power, and dual power is kind of old now, so, you know, anyways, Psychic Wave, Blackwing Chris the Crackadon, Appliance or Test, and another time stream. Let's see, we got a couple more packs, uh, like 12, so we'll see what we get. Let's see what we get in this one. Necroz of Gunganir, So High of the Rainstorm, Numeron Gate, Invert Purgatrio, Danger Jackalope was reprinted in here? Really? Huh. I did not know that this card got reprinted in here. Uh. Let me know in the comments below, uh, did Danger Jackalope get reprinted here? I mean, I've just pulled him, so I would assume that he did get reprinted in here, but that's, you know, maybe he's a short print. Um, Steam Synchron, Invoked Elysium, Appliance or Dryer Drake, Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wingman, and another Weathering Soldier. Awesome, we're going to be able to do that Fossil deck, I guess. You know, we're getting all the Fossil cards. Uh, we're only going to need a couple more, a couple fossil fusions and stuff like that. So, Buster Destruction Whelp, Invoked Kaliga, Salamangrite Sunlight Wolf, and Fossil Fusion. Speaking of fossil fusion, on to the next one. Here we go, one to the back. Number three, Cicada King. Goyo Defender. Mythical Beast, Numeron Wall, and Artifact Ignition. Good reprint in here. I'm glad that this card got reprinted. All right. Let me know how many boxes of this you guys opened, and if you got any uh, Starlight Rares or anything, that would... That'd be cool. I'd love to love to hear about that. Appliance or reuse. Four Mud Skipper. Goyo Guardian. Book of Moon. And Armored White Bear again. One to the back. Appliance or Electrical World. Another hero, Chaos Neos. I had this card as a ghost rare when I was a kid. So, cool story. I had Chaos Neos as a ghost rare when I was a kid. Not even cool, actually kind of sad. Uh, and what ended up happening was 
Well, I was a kid, and somebody, you know, who was more inclined to Yu-Gi-Oh! and knew more about Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, saw me pull it, and they offered me a trade. And they traded me a secret rare uh, Jinzo for it. So, yep, that's what happened. I mean, he gave me a pretty cool card, but still, uh, that was a pretty uncool thing to, for that guy to do at the time. Uh, I think that card was around, like, $80. It was, you know, it was, it would have been cool to have it back today, but, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Anyways, don't do that to people. That's wrong. Numeron Gate, Malefic Paradigm Dragon, Appliancer Vacuum Elephant. And Dark Arm Dragon of Annihilation. Alright guys, so we've got a couple packs left. We've got... Let's see how many packs we got left. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 more packs. This video's been kind of long. Sorry about that guys. We're I'm trying to go faster. I will definitely work on how long I make these videos. But for now, you gotta bear with me. Black Whirlwind, Afterglow, Appliance or sell, sell you something, and then High Rate Draw. So, still haven't pulled an invocation. Uh, that's kind of sad. I would have liked to see an invocation more, uh, at least one. So, Appliance or Reuse, Appliance or Laundry Dragon, Fire Fluent Lady. And Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon. Another awesome reprint. Like I said, Chimera Tech Mega Fleet is definitely a cool card. Alright, so here we go. Once it back. This is still, I would say, the best pull that we got was the Chaos Emperor Dragon. Super all in cross sheep. Miracle Rupture. Wow. This is a cool looking card. Is that Giant Soldier of Stone? Yeah, it is. Awesome. They're using Giant Soldier of Stone and some more artwork. I like that guy. He's awesome looking. I honestly wish they would rehash Giant Soldier of Stone. You know, to you know be used in other decks. Uh, be pretty cool. Appliance or Laundry Dragon, Appliance or Kappa, Breaker Buckle, Invoked Porgatria. Ooh, Darkness Metal, the Dragon of Dark Steel. This is the Red Eyes Link Monster, and he looks awesome. I really like the way this monster looks. So yeah, anyways, the uh, Giant Soldier Stone. <laughs> oh, imagine if he became an Adamant Spader. Oh, God. Emancipator, giant soldier of stone. That would be insane. Uh, Lion Emperor, Numeron Gate, Penguin Torpedo, Numeron Gate, and a Weathering Soldier. Jesus, look at this pile of cards right here. All hollows, that's crazy. Ooh, look at the way this pack is, guys. Hopefully, it didn't damage any of the cards. That would be upsetting. So will we see that 10,000 dragon? Salamander Great Gazelle. Kappa. Shining Flare Wingman. Numeron Gate. And Glacial Beast Iceberg Narwhal. Two packs left. One Trishula. One Dark Armed. So let's go Dark Armed first. Hoping to hit that starlight. Maybe one of those astral uh, text utopias would be cool. Number three, Numeron Gate, Dragon Buster Destruction Sword, Appliance or Salutope. Another Numeron Network, guys. We are killing it with the Numeron cards right now. I can honestly play the whole Numeron engine probably now. Uh, I have another Numeron network that I opened when I opened like three packs of this. And so, yeah. Last pack. To the back. Obedient School. Appliance or Coffee Buckle. 
appliance or test. This is it, guys. Do we pull? Oh, I saw it. But do we pull something cool? Chaos Gate Sunya. Okay, I'm not disappointed with this. I'm actually very happy with how this box opening went. I got some really awesome cards. I got the one card that I really, really wanted, which was the Chaos Emperor Dragon. Uh, we got to see some weirder cards that I didn't know were reprinted in here, like Danger Jackalope. So, all in all, this opening was pretty awesome. Especially pulling this Chaos Emperor Dragon of Armageddon. This is definitely one of the cooler cards in here. That light, that light is just shining down on him because he's so good. All right, guys. I'd like to thank you guys all for watching today. And uh, definitely like, comment, and subscribe if you like the opening. And we will be uh, opening more Battles of Legends Armageddon in the future. And definitely opening Rise of the Duelist when it comes out. So look forward to that. Look forward to some more deck profiles in the new future. Anyways, later.